This is the ET Hoverboard Cart Seat Attachment. If you already have a hoverboard, then you can get one of these and honestly it makes having a hoverboard way more fun in my opinion. You just attach this to the hoverboard that you have and then it becomes a go-kart. It's super easy to learn. It adds another dimension of fun to your hoverboard. It's really cool. A few things I'd like to know about the packaging of this. For one, when it arrived it came with foam and it was really kind of messy. So you should have a vacuum on hand in case you need to clean up. The other thing you should be aware of is I found the instructions to be very lacking. It was one sheet of paper with really small images and it was just too hard to read and understand. Fortunately, it was easy enough for me to figure out how to put everything together without using any instructions at all. Altogether, I think it took me probably about 20 to 30 minutes to assemble this go-kart. If you can already ride a hoverboard, then I think sitting on this go-kart and taking off on this won't be any problem at all. It's really easy to learn how to drive. One thing of note, and this is listed on the instructions, you should sit down on it before turning on your hoverboard. And obviously when you turn on your hoverboard, you'll want it to be as level as possible when you turn it on so it doesn't automatically take off. The go-kart really is just about as versatile as your hoverboard is. So if you have a good strong hoverboard like mine, then you can go up and down hills without any problem. It's really easy to make sharp turns and you can go as fast as your hoverboard will allow. Another thing I'd like to note is I had my friend come over and he brought all of his kids and they'd never ridden a hoverboard before they were able to jump on the go-kart and learn it in just a matter of seconds and have no problem. So I really think this is really easy to learn and for people who are maybe a little bit hesitant to go on the hoverboard, I think the go-kart is a great way to kind of transition into the hoverboard and get comfortable with how a hoverboard works. Like I mentioned before, I think the go-kart is really just a ton of fun. It adds different dimension to your hoverboard. I probably shouldn't do this, but a lot of times I'll put my son and put him on my lap and we'll just go around the block on the go-kart and it's a lot of fun. There are a couple things I did notice with this go-kart. For one, the area where you strap the go-kart onto the hoverboard, the, the screws seem to get kind of loose and the gap has slowly opened up. It hasn't affected performance in any way. Just thought I would point that out. And the other thing I'd like to mention is it does have kind of a leg bar that is adjustable. In the area where you attach the two pieces together, it always seems kind of loose and wobbly. It's never come apart for me and it's never been any issue, but it is something I think you should be aware. It's a bit wobbly. I wish there was some way that they improved this on the go-kart. Overall, I definitely recommend if you have a hoverboard, you should totally get one of these uh, hoverboard cart seat attachments. It just really makes things way more fun. And I'll post a link below for this hoverboard cart seat attachment so you can check out what the current price is.